Good morning, everybody. This is Patrick Montes Dioca with the Equity Management Academy Live Trading Room. This segment is brought to you by the Equity Management Academy. What I would like to do on this segment is to review the uh, report that we published on Saturday, October the 3rd, as it relates to the weekly algorithms uh, that we use to anticipate the energy of the market for the following week. And when you become a subscriber, you get a password that you have access to the members area. And on the right side, you see the uh, subscriptions available according to your subscription. And um, you can click on any of the uh, subscription buttons that you see there. And it will give you the algorithms for the day that you see here. It will give you uh, the algorithms that we post in the room. And on Saturday, we post a report that uh, basically is the weekly VC price momentum indicator. And it is the, the weekly future swings report published on every Saturday. On this report, the on Friday, the uh, December gold futures contract closed at 11.38. And with the market closing, above the 1128 uh, pivot point, moving average, the first indicator that we use is confirmation that the weekly trend momentum is bullish. But it also tells you that if we were to close below there, that this bullishness would be negated to neutral. A close below the nine day moving average would negate the weekly bullish short term trend to neutral. Now. One of the indicators that we use our components is the weekly momentum indicator, which happens to be the pivot point, the mean of the week or the day, or if you're using the monthly chart, it's the mean of the month. In this case, we're using the weekly chart, which is the mean of the week. With the market closing above the VC weekly price momentum indicator of 1130, it confirms that the price momentum is bullish. But it also tells you a close below the VC weekly would trigger weekly stops and negate the bullish signal to neutral. So this is your second level that you can use as your stop and or protection to revert the trend to neutral. So you have the 9 day moving average of 11.28. You have the weekly pivot point of 11.30. And you know that if it closes below there that you look to take some profits on the shorts if we come down to 11.12 to 10.06, below the 11.30. It tells you that if you go long, which we did as of Friday, trigger the uh, weekly swing signal, you have already the uh, limits to take profits. It tells you right here, look to take profits on longs as we reach the sell one and two levels of 11.56 to 11.74. This was published on Saturday. Okay. So let's take a look and see what it did today. The high today was 11.51. The weekly was 11.56. But when you are uh, coming into a, a long of 11.38 and you're trading the uh, daily pivot points, you can use the uh, pivot points on the daily to uh, liquidate the swing trading signal. And in this case, we use the sell two level of the daily, which is 1151, close enough to the target on the weekly uh, report that was published on Friday. So we've taken partial profits here. If it closes above 1149, it's activating basically the upper levels of the price fractal and this resistance now of 11.49 would activate a support okay so we are neutral right now we're in a wait state on the swing uh, we want to wait to see a high probability signal and that is when the market now comes back down into that buy one or buy two level whenever whenever that whenever that will be um, I'm not sure what happened here. Uh, bear with me one second. It 
we have a lot of security that we've added to the website here, and uh, it was just asking for the uh, passwords here. But uh, going back to the gold, we're, we're basically still maintaining our long-term position as bullish on our investment side. We're holding on to longs. Uh, it's up to you to use these levels as targets for you to lighten up or take some profits as we uh, basically validate and confirm these targets to be completed. Let's take a look at the uh, silver market here. And um, we uh, basically are going to uh, look at the algorithm that uh, once again was published on Friday, <coughs> Saturday, based on Friday's close. The uh, December silver futures contract closed on Friday at 1523, and with the market closing, Above the nine day moving average of 1494, the uh, weekly trend momentum is bullish, and a close below the nine day would negate the weekly bullish short term trend to neutral. So, your first stop level is the 1494, closing at 1523. The uh, pivot for the week in silver is 1496. That's the uh, mean or the pivot point for the week, but it also tells you closing. Below 1496, it would trigger stops and negate the bullish signal to neutral. So once again here, uh, the swing trade on Friday went long at 1523. Your stop was 1494. Uh, 1496 were your protective levels. And it also told you that if you went long, look to take profits on longs as we reach the sell one and sell two levels of 1556 to 1590. The high today in silver was 16.09. It met all of the targets as anticipated from Friday afternoon. We're flat. Uh, we're waiting now on the swing trade once again. We've locked in a tremendous profit since Friday. Congratulations on those that followed it. And we'll update you uh, as soon as we can on any new signals that may develop. If you have any questions at all um, on the uh, application of these algorithms, um, please feel free to uh, give me a call. Uh, my uh, number directly is 805 area code 418-1744. Or you can email me at support at EMA the number 2trade.com, ema2trade.com. This is Patrick Montes de Oca. Once again, I truly want to thank you for the opportunity that you've given me to share this information with you. I hope that this is uh, working for you as it is working for us. And please feel free to contact us if you have any, any questions at all. Until next time, my friends, once again, this is Patrick Montes de Oca. Be well.